Hey guys, I just two here. I mean, I just is back. Let me just check if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Good. Today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial on how to install Windows 2.03 in uh, VM Player, VMware Player. Now, first thing you're going to do is download VMware Player. I'll give a link in the description for everything you need to download. Once that's loaded up, you're going to uh, create, you're going to click, sorry, I'm going too fast, close, you're going to click create a new virtual machine, so you're going to create that, now uh, since Windows 2.03 is on a floppy disk, you're going to click, I will install the operating system later, so it's, uh, since, since it runs off of MS-DOS, you're going to, uh, it will be on Microsoft Windows. You're going to select Other, and then select MS-DOS. So I'm going to name it Windows 2.03 YT because my tutorial. So I'm going to, you're going to click Store Virtual Disk into as a single file. Finish. So now that's done. Now we can run it. Or, uh, on the computer. You can disconnect the CD-ROM because it's, you won't be needing it. Now, click the floppy disk icon. Click go to settings. Now, click uh, use floppy disk and magic file. So then you're going to load your ISO. I put in uh, my folder right here. Windows 2.03 is a floppy disk, so load the uh, setup disk ISO. And then click Control Delete for Send Control Delete. And I forgot to connect the floppy drive. Crap. Now, it. Oh, forgot. One thing. Hold on. You can't. I forgot that Windows 2.03 runs off of MS DOS. So you can't just have it boot off the uh, Windows disk right away. You need to um, go into ISOs, you need to download MS-DOS 6.2 in order to use it. So download that, put in disk 1, download it, and send control, download that, load the ISO, and then uh, I'll say uh, starting MS-DOS, so to continue, so uh, press enter, set it up, Press enter, configure on located disk space. So, yeah. Now you need to restart the computer for some reason. I don't know why it does this, it just does. Since it's going very fast because it's going very fast because it's an ISO and it's on virtual machine, obviously. My settings are correct and you're going to install it to the DOS directory on C drive. Now you're going to want to load the uh, disk two of MS DOS so just open that I'll press enter now you want disk three so uh, you wanna click you wanna load disk three and then press enter alright so now it's finished setup so if for now you want to disconnect the floppy drive so it doesn't try to boot off the disk. So that's all set up. You can start installing Windows 2.03. So you want to uh, connect it again. Now you want to go to uh, your ISO folder, or if you have an ISO folder, I do. Then you want to, I recommend you create an ISO folder. And then uh, put in um, you create create an ISO f ISO folder, and then uh, s for uh, this operating system, create the own folder inside the folder. Yeah, and a folder inside a folder, with, and then the folder inside the folder should be named Windows 2.03, and then put all the disks in there. And by the way, you need 7-zip in order to do all of this. I'll give also give a link in, to this in the description to that. So, 
load the uh, setup disk first. Now you want to do type in a colon. So you want to load the uh, floppy drive. Now we're going to type in setup. That's just going to ask you a bunch of stuff. Just press enter to continue setup. So you're going to install to the Windows directory. Make sure it's IBM PC or 100% compatible because it's a virtual because it's a, a VMware player. Select your display adapter. Other requires disk other other requires disk provided by hardware manufacturer you want to have this. So you want to put your display disk in drive A. So, get a load uh, disk two, uh, disk three displays disk, and press enter. So, uh, I recommend you have this the uh, graphics card or compatible mi monochrome display. Enter. Now the U.S. keyboard uh, layout is going to be U.S. for me because I'm American. Mouse, make sure it's other required by disk provided. Di other requ other requires disk provided by hardware manufacturer. Make sure it's that because not this nothing else will work. Your mouse won't work. So select this. So now you need to insert the uh, mouse driver disk which is utilities 2 I believe yes it is utilities 2 so the mouse disk is utilities is a uh, disk 5 as the utilities 2 disk so it's uh, asking you about the uh, fonts again make sure it's always this so uh, always other at the bottom of the selection. So uh, you're gonna put in f the uh, fonts disk. I'm a. Uh, I am American, so I'm gonna go Europe EGA. So no change. So now we're gonna put the uh, setup disk in here. in the setup disk back in here and the uh, the IS setup ISO back in uh, the virtual machine now you're gonna put in the uh, build uh, disk 2 the build disk <coughs> now what uh, if you want to select a printer you can't hook up a printer what am I saying so just press C to continue setup United States because I'm American now you're going to put in the uh, fonts 1 disk, which is disk 6. Now you're going to put in the desktop as, uh, desktop applications disk, which is disk 8. Now lastly, you're going to put in the Microsoft Windows Write disk, which is disk 9. So... I'll press F to finish setup. Now, so that now uh, installing Windows is done. You can now disconnect the floppy drive. Type in Win to run it. And oh, okay. I think I messed something up. Oh dear God! I'll be right back. Okay, I apologize about that. Turns out you're not supposed to select anything about the graphics card, like EGA. Remember that time when I said uh, select like uh, the EGA something graphics card? Don't bother. Just select 64 monochrome, 100% compatible IBM or others, 100% compatible. Select that option. Don't select anything else. That won't it won't work. So now type in win. It works. Ta-da! Yes, it works now. So. Windows is all set up.
can like run calen calculator watches. Oh wait, I think you're supposed to do this. Five divided by zero equals error. <laughs> That's always fun to do. So yeah, that is um my tutorial. I hope you and I hope this was helpful for you. And yeah, I'll see you guys.